Georgians have missed. Uh, again, I've, I've seen your website, and you say that uh, Georgians don't care Republican or Democrat. They just want people that govern them well and, and, and to be proud again of, of the state. What did Georgians not see in the last election? Uh, overwhelmingly putting the the constitutional offices to the to the Republicans. What is it the the, the electorate is not seeing with Democrats? What, what are we not seeing with the Democratic candidates? Yes, with the candidates that propose to uh, to serve in those offices. Uh, you know, I don't think it was. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm not an expert on uh, campaigns or elections, um, but I think that um, voters are frustrated with both of the parties right now, and they just didn't have a candidate that they, they believed in the last time. I think there were a lot of Republicans who weren't very happy with Nathan Dill, mm -hmm. um, and you might have been one of those. Yes, indeed. Um, so we're, we're just frustrated with the quality of elected officials that we have right now. And that's the way it is. And well, I'm not trying to change those elections, sure. but I do want to hold those people who are in the offices now accountable to issues that we need to face today. Would you support a Republican candidate if given the right platform? Sure. There, uh, there are good Republicans, um, moderate Republicans, people who aren't... Uh, yeah, I would support a Republican who's not supporting the personhood amendment, um, and there's a Democrat who, who is doing that, Rick Crawford, mm -hmm. in this coming session. Any of those fringe issues that mm -hmm. take our eye off of better jobs and better schools, that's the problem. I will support any Republican who wants to vote and pass policies that create an environment that has better education, um, that brings better businesses and better jobs to Georgia. This is not partisan.